What's up guys, did you ever try to build your own custom HTML email templates? Because then you would know that it's utterly painful. But lucky for you, in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to render beautiful emails using Tailwind CSS. And I'm also going to show you how you can add dynamic content to the email itself. So let's get started. To do that we will be using a framework called Maisel. It lets you build HTML emails without writing any CSS code. And that is made possible with the help of Tailwind CSS. If you're not familiar with Tailwind, it basically lets you style your HTML templates without writing any CSS code. And that is done by adding small utility classes to the HTML elements. So let's start creating some actual emails. And to do this we will go to the Maisel documentation. And on the getting started page you can find some instructions to set up a starter project. Make sure you have Node.js installed on your system and then run this command to create the starter project. Once that's done you can cd into it and install the npm dependencies. Once that's done you can use the npm run dev command to start a development server. On localhost 3000 you can now view your emails and even see changes in real time. The starter project comes with two different example emails, a promotional email and a transactional email. The source code for those emails is located in the templates directory. These templates are just some plain HTML files and if you open one of them you will recognize an extends block in the root of the document. Which just means that the template extends a base layout, in this case the main layout, which is located in the layouts directory. The main layout just contains an HTML document setup and the actual email template will be inserted into this template block here during rendering. As you might have already recognized, there's almost no CSS code in the entire project and the email templates look quite good nevertheless. And that is because of Tailwind CSS. It makes it possible to style elements just by using utility classes. For example, this text here is made bigger by using the text2xl class, which sets the font size to 24 pixels. And likewise, you can add any other CSS property to the HTML elements by using similar utility classes. Be aware that not all CSS properties are supported by all email clients. So there's a nice tool called caniemail.com where you can check out which CSS properties are supported by which email client. Tailwind CSS can also be customized by using the tailwind.config file in the root of the project. Likewise, there are two other configuration files in the root of the project, which you can use to configure Maisel itself for development and for production. Hence, using npm run dev will use the development configuration and using npm run build will use the production configuration to render your emails into a static HTML file. But that's enough theory, we will now create our own email from scratch. And by the way, the entire code of this video can be found on my GitHub page. So make sure to check out the repository and give it a star. I've just created an empty HTML file inside the templates directory. And at first we will extend the main layout. And this can be done by adding the extends block with the source tag. The actual template that will be inserted inside the layout has to be included in this template block here, where we will add a table that wraps the entire email and then another table which just wraps the content in the center. From there we will put our content into consecutive table rows. And the first row is just a simple header which says Maisel and we want this header to be centered and thus we will add the text center class. We also add some padding and margin and we will make this text a little bit bigger and bold and also add a color to it. The next row will hold the message to the user and it has a title which is a little bit bigger than the rest of the text and then the actual text message itself. At the bottom we will also use an anchor tag to add a custom button. That way when the user clicks on the button he will be redirected to this URL here. Lastly we will add a small footer below the actual content card. But what if you wanted to add some dynamic content to your emails? For example, greeting a specific user or redirecting the user to a specific URL. In that case, we need to do some more custom work. But no worries, that isn't really difficult to do. We simply add template variables where we want dynamic content, then use the Maisel API to render the HTML and finally replace the variables with their actual content. All of this will be done using a simple Node.js script. So go ahead and create a server.typescript file and at first we will load the HTML template into a string using fspromises. 
Then we can import the Maisel API from the Maisel framework package and use it to render the raw HTML to an optimized HTML document. Inside the render method you also need to specify a Tailwind configuration and a Maisel configuration file. Make sure to use the production Maisel configuration file here in order to enable inline CSS and minification. At this point we are already able to render our template into a sendable HTML string. But we also want to add dynamic content to our email and this can be done by using template variables. For example, if we want to greet a specific user here in this text block, then we can add a template variable for example called name and put it into curly braces. We also need to prefix the curly braces with an add to tell Maisel to ignore this template variable internally. Hence after rendering Maisel will just remove the add and leave the curly braces as they are which means that the curly braces are still included in the rendered HTML. That way we can use a custom templating engine to replace the template variables with their actual content. In our case we will simply use the mustache npm package to replace the template variables by calling the render method. And there we have our final HTML document that we can send out to our users. But for convenience I will also add a small express server to our script in order to preview the HTML emails with their dynamic contents. The template variables will simply be read from the query params of the URL. That way we can easily add some dynamic content and see it rendered live in our browser. Lastly I also want to add a second endpoint for actually sending emails out and this will work exactly like the first endpoint but instead of previewing the email inside a browser we will send the email to the user. This will be done using MailJet. It has a simple Node.js API for sending emails which can be installed with the help of the Node MailJet package. And to use it you simply have to create a MailJet object with your public and private key and then you can already send an email like this. Now we can easily try to send out some emails by opening this URL with the email in the request parameters and the dynamic content inside the query parameters. I've just sent out this email to three different email clients of mine and as you can see here it works just fine on all of them. We also have the dynamic content inside the email, in this case my name and clicking the button also redirects to the correct URL. And that's basically everything you need to know about rendering and sending beautiful emails easily. But as a quick side note, Maisel doesn't guarantee compatibility with all email clients. So you still need to figure out which email client support which CSS properties. And as I've said, you can use the caniemail.com website for that purpose. But it's nevertheless a good practice to send out some emails to yourself before sending them to your actual user base. If you want to use Maisel yourself then I would highly recommend checking out some of their starter projects. And if this video helped you then consider sending me some anonymous cryptocurrencies. Or at least like this video and subscribe to my channel. By the way you can also find all of my videos on other platforms like Rumble or Odyssey if you prefer to watch them there. Also make sure to start the github repository for this video, link is down below in the description. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and have a great time.